What's up, engineers? My name's MK, and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own minifigure Halloween costume for under $30 and under about 24 hours. One roll of quick tube, a piece of poster board, a styrofoam dome, spray paint in various colors, acrylic paint in various colors, a hot glue gun, a pair of sharp scissors, pen, paint brushes, box cutter, and tool fabric. Eyeball the length you want your head to be, and then cut it out using your box cutter. Box cutters are really dangerous, so this is a grown-up only step. Always ask for help. I tried mine on and realized it was a little bit too tall, so I measured out about two inches down from my line, then used scissors to make cuts down to that line, and then folded in the tops of my quick tube because I was really tired of using the box cutter. I'm ready for my first coat of paint, so I took my head outside into a well-ventilated area. I found a box that fits me well, so I'm just going to cut off these four flaps to get it ready to be the body of my costume. I'm just going to eyeball a circle for the top and then do one of my arms. After I cut out one of my armholes, I can actually use that as a stencil to the other one and make sure they're even. My box was a little weak after all the cuts, so I just put a little bit of duct tape on the inside. Try it on at this point and make sure it's comfortable. Gracefully exit your costume and then spray paint it the color of your choice. I'm using blue. Use your dome and trace a brim shape on your poster board. Unfortunately, my camera stopped recording right when I cut it out, but I think you get the idea. I then hot glued the brim to the dome, making a baseball cap. I let everything sit overnight and then brought everything back inside. And the next day, I was ready to start on the face. I used a cup to trace out two eyes, and once again, I just kind of eyeballed where they should go. It's okay if yours don't turn out as perfect circles, mine certainly didn't, but that's okay, I had a plan for that. I'm going to use the tool fabric to create a mesh layer behind the eyes to give an effect of a regular black Lego pupil. Once again, you could just eyeball the sizes, and I decided that I was going to layer mine up four times to make it nice and dark, but ensure I could still see through it. And then I just hot glue the tool inside of the mask. <laughs> Go choose your favorite minifigure you want to model the face after. I chose this graduation guy. Here's where we fix those eye holes. With a little bit of black acrylic paint, I just painted around the eyes until they looked nice and round, and it gave the illusion of a perfect circle. Sketch on your face with pencil, and then paint it in with your acrylic paint.
last minute, I decided to cut out two white circles from my leftover poster board and hot glue them inside where the eyes are, right above the mesh. This is the way that the minifigure I picked out looked. I think it made him look a lot more like a real minifigure. I picked out a shirt with blue sleeves so it would go with the body of my costume. I printed out this Playboy logo and put it right on the front. I think it looks really cool. Now you're ready to sing Everything is Awesome, get some candy, and maybe freak out a couple friends.